Stuart, we're here looking ahead to the next week's cup final. But you, for yourself, you've been here a year now. How has it been? It's been terrific. I've thoroughly enjoyed every moment of, of being involved at the club. It's obviously a fantastic opportunity, you know, to be involved with some of the best young players in the country uh, and try and, you know, assist and support them in their development as they strive to achieve their goals, which, you know, is obviously to become a first team player here at Celtic, but to become a Champions League first team player here at Celtic first and foremost. So it's been a tremendous experience and, and you know, really looking forward to what the future holds as well. From a youth perspective in games, it's mostly about the performance. How much do you think the boys have come on in the last few months? Yeah, I think there's been progression. You know, obviously the, the team really is a vehicle to try and aid their individual development. That's ultimately what we're about. It's about the, each individual player and, and their journey and trying to you know, further their development so that they can go and achieve their aims and their ambitions. We're obviously clear about the numbers in terms of how many will actually scale the heights. But, you know, the the team, as I say, is a vehicle for that. The performances within the team have been reasonably consistent, you know, which is terrific. Results haven't always followed that way, but that's secondary, you know, for us. The only thing, you know, that slightly differs is in the cup competitions, obviously, you know, there's that opportunity for the the players to experience everything that comes with a cup run, you know, right up to and now, including, you know, a final at Hampden Park. So it'll be an amazing experience for the players and they've well and truly deserved it throughout their performances. We've seen some of the boys move between the under-18s and the B team. How important has that been for the development? Yeah, it's been tremendous. Obviously, the, the B team platform there, the games programme that they have with the UEFA Youth League, you know, has been an, uh, an invaluable experience for all of the players, but especially some of the younger ones who are still eligible for the under-18s. Um, going and being in that environment with uh, the squad that Darren and Stephen have, and obviously being close to some of those players that have made the next step, you know, to go from the B squad up into the, the first team. Um, so, you know, it's been tremendous benefit. The great thing from our perspective is that as time goes on, the transition for those players between the under 18s and the B team seems to be a lot smoother. So, you know, it's always naturally going to be a big jump, it should be. But the players that have gone up seem to have adapted and assimilated to that environment as, uh, you know, really, really well. There's been positive feedback from Darren and Stephen in that regard. When making that step, there's great examples for them to follow, whether that be players making their debut or working under coaches like Stephen and Darren who've come through the academy. What can the young players take from working in that environment every day? I think you know what you see now is there's a, a strong consistency with the way that we're working uh, throughout the academy, through the B team and into the first team at Celtic. So the players obviously have got the, the examples as you, you've noted there with Rocco Vata, Ben Summers, Boston Lowell, you know, even um, prior to the season, Dane Murray, you know, there's, there's, there's some great examples of young players progressing through this club and making debuts in recent times. Uh, and the way, obviously, to say that the, the, the environment that Darren and Stephen have created is as close to our first team as possibly. Um, and obviously at the under-18s, we're trying to do uh, all that we can to try and develop the attributes that the players will need to go and progress into the B team and, and go and excel in that environment and gain their opportunities with the first team. So, you know, it's about um, understanding all the facets that come into becoming a football, a professional footballer. You know, so it's a lot of that around the mentality, you know, understanding the dedication required and that level of consistency that needs to be achieved on a daily basis. You know, everybody sees the outcomes in, in terms of performances and results on a Saturday, but they don't see, you know, the work that goes in 24-7 in the weeks, you know, consistently throughout a, a player's career. It's obviously been a great run to the Youth Cup final. You've scored 21 goals along the way. You must have been delighted with those performances and how much you're looking forward to that occasion. Yeah, as I said, we spoke right before the first game against Dundee about what the tremendous opportunity the Youth Cup provides, as I say, in terms of the players' development and experiencing all the things that come along with a successful Cup run. Uh, you know, they've applied themselves tremendously well in the Cup, I've got to say. The, the consistency in the performances and, as you say, scoring the number of goals that we have and only conceding one up to the final has been a terrific run. So, you know, that only earns you the right to get uh, out there in the final at Hampden Park. What the boys obviously have to do now is make sure that they go and embrace everything that comes with that experience. Uh, and I've got every belief in them that they'll go and, and produce a level of performance that they're well and truly capable of. You mentioned getting to play at Hampden Park. How valuable an experience is that for these players at such a young age? Yeah, it's absolutely uh, essential for them. I think, you know, if we're talking about trying to develop Champions League players, 
you know, you'd need players that can go uh, and perform at the highest level under all the pressures that, you know, these types of games bring, you know, so when you're on the big stage and there is a trophy on offer and, and you're playing against obviously your greatest rivals and, and all of those things that come with it, the, the pressure of friends and family and the numbers in the stands, you know, all of those things uh, are what we want our young players to experience. Um, and hopefully we'll see many more of them flourish in that environment. And um, But even for the ones that maybe find that a little bit challenging, there's then obviously things that we can focus on in the development so that if they continue to progress and they get more of these opportunities in the future, they're better able to handle them so that, you know, as they progress through the B team and hopefully then on to our first team when it comes to Scottish Cup finals and big Champions League ties here at Celtic Park, they're able to cope with that much better. We've seen many players play in these games and go on to have great careers. Does this experience just add more motivation to go and get a taste of those occasions again? Absolutely. I don't think it can ever be underestimated, the aspirational element. You know, so when you see people like our club captain, Callum McGregor, and all that he's achieved with the club and his career and the success that he's had in cup finals, you know, that, that's uh, the absolute role model for these young players to obviously go and try and emulate what, what Callum has achieved and hopefully even try and progress if they possibly can to go in better than, than what all the things that Callum's achieved. That's no mean feat, but uh, that's the, the challenge that's there. As I say, I don't think you can underestimate um, having those types of role models.